adios and goodbye to Circuit City, a.k.a. how to run a business into the ground. You know, I have never been a big fan of Circuit City. I've shopped there on and off for a number of years, and I am truly, truly not surprised that they're going out of business. If ever there was an electronics retailer who was mismanaged and run into the ground, it was Circuit City. Uh, maybe some of you are now mourning for this defunct company, but I am, for one, not. I have always felt they were mismanaged and out of touch with their customers. And I base this on the following things. One, I've always found the Circuit City stores that I visited to be limited in selections of products. I found their prices to be normally at full MSRP, manufacturer suggested retail price, and the sale prices were spotty at best, and their sale policies were, were rather strange. <clears throat> so they had high prices. Their salespeople clearly didn't have a clue many, many times about the products they were selling. They weren't trained. They were trained to sell maintenance contracts on whatever it is you bought. That's what they were trained to do, to get you signed up for the Circuit City credit card and to get you to buy an extended warranty. That's what they were trained to do. Product knowledge has seemed to me come dead last. And that falls under the category uh, high pressure sales tactics. Uh, even though they couldn't sell, they would they would try all kinds of things to get you to buy. You know, if you went in there for a big screen TV, you know, they would try to get you to, you know, get this camcorder to go with it, whatever. It, it just never seemed to me like they were focused on what I needed rather than what they were trying to shove that day. Poor customer service. If you ever tried to get something returned or repaired by Circuit City, all I gotta say is good luck, muchachos. They were a tough organization to deal with. Uh, repairs could take months to get done. Uh, <clears throat> it was just, it was just awful. To be honest with you, I'm not a, bit a fan of Best Buy either. But at least they have a much larger selection and at times decent prices. For most major purchases, I visit a store in uh, Indianapolis called Fry's Electronics, and they've got some throughout the, uh, uh, the, the U.S. Uh, they actually bought the old Incredible Universe uh, that Radio Shack had owned at one time. So I use them. I shop uh, websites such as Tiger Direct, New Egg, uh, and for household appliances, I tend to shop more the local mom-and-pop retailers. Uh, with a good service history, although I have purchased them from places like Sam's Club and Costco. So I say adios Circuit City, uh, you went the way of Comp USA. the market has clearly spoken, uh, you were bankrupt uh, Chapter 11 back in November, personally I never gave you a chime's chance in hell of making it, and I told everybody so, and I was right on, on calling the ball on Circuit City.